Hi crafty friends, come on in. I'm gonna give it just a moment or two and then we will get officially, officially started. Oh, happy Monday. <laughs> Mondays are busy for me. I don't know why I picked Monday as this day to do this. I may have to change it. But it is what it is right now. That's how it's working. All right, are we at 30 seconds? All right, so of course, if you're watching right now, you've got the alert on your device and you're like, oh, Audra's live, let me go check it out. So of course, let me know you're here. I would super appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna roll right in. Hi, Crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi. I know, welcome to the Crafty Corner and a little, uh, I don't know, Monday madness? No. <laughs> hey, Sonia, welcome. Um, uh, it's Monday and we are going to look at a new product i got my catalogs i don't know if my official one it could be my mailbox um demonstrators they mail us one um but i ordered catalogs so i can give it to my customers so if you need a catalog let me know and i'm happy to send one to you um no charge for especially for your first one um, if you're notorious and you just always want a catalog and never shop then we may have to talk but anyway we have new catalogs so we're gonna play with a new product suite so i'm gonna see if i can press Hey Nadine, if I can press the buttons correctly today, well, we're gonna cross our fingers that today is going to be like the day that I press all the buttons correctly. Hey Roxana. Okay, so real fast, so what is today? Today is Monday, April 10th, um, 2023. So if you're finding this video much later than that, you know what, go ahead and fast forward to the project because the project you can use any paper you could use any cardstock I mean I'm going to show you stampin up stuff because I think it's the best but um you could definitely make this project uh, months from now it would be totally cool all right so we have that okay and um but oh but what I wanted to tell you was my just cards class I'm a little late getting the, it all posted um but just cards is coming the rcp is due in one week from today so i don't know it's due the the class in person is on the 20th of april um so if you want it to go it will go out on the 21st uh look at these cute so i decided that june not june oh my gosh i'm like skipping months that april was going to be all about flowers so um we have three really pretty cards. You will get the supplies to make two of each. Occasionally your papers will be different. If they're different, it's okay because they're gonna come with everything that is coordinated. Um, this one I had a little fun with. I posted this as my this or that this morning. Um, so this one I fussy cut it all out and this one it's just the piece of DSP. And so I'm gonna give you both pieces of DSP possibly to both pieces of that we'll see how it goes when i get into the paper and like i said you may get a different uh flower color and that's totally fine but this um is the class on the 20th and i would love for people who live local to come hang out and craft with me at my house if not you can get it to go and it's totally fine okie dokie let's move that out of the way i don't know where i'm gonna put it i'm gonna throw it across all right so as i said we have a new catalog so pretty and i'm gonna share with you today the countryside in uh suite officially they're called sweet collections in um the annual catalog because it's only like three things well four things i guess depending so there are dies there is a stamp set there is an embossing folder and there is designer series paper <laughs> paper yes paper paper um in my unboxing video, so if you wanna see a whole bunch of things and learn all about the new colors, um, you should go check out that uh, video. But today we're gonna go in depth on this bundle, uh, the paper. So I'm gonna show you the paper, and then I'll show you the project we're gonna make, and then we're gonna make it. And like I said, you can make it with other paper. If you're on my team, you'll be making it in this paper. Um, so if you live far away, you'll be getting it in the mail. And if you're coming on Friday for the team meeting, I'll have it here for you. Okay. So the paper is super, let me see if it looks super pretty on there. And it looks pretty good on there. Um, it has all different kinds of prints. So this is like little uh, birds on there. There's flowers. Uh, this one has little foxes on it. Let's see what else we have. I like this one with the trees, trees and flowers. Well, I like, you know me, I'm all weird. I like them all, trees and flowers more flowers so it's all in shades of blue and this has a couple of our new blues um our returning blue maybe yeah misty moonlight's in here see the little bunnies they're super cute 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is all of them. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then the back sides have all these nice prints. Dark ones and light ones and mini ones. Oh good, Emily's excited. Emily's on my team, so she's gonna come on Friday and she'll get to make this card in person. Uh, so I'll be prepping that. All right, so it's super pretty paper. Um, now what I'm gonna do tonight, cause see this is what causes me, um, I get all caught up in things because I was like, well, just because this paper is blue doesn't mean we can only use this uh, bundle with this paper or with this color scheme. But then I'm like, Audrey, you didn't have time to come up with like 12 other ideas right now, right? So I'm just gonna show it to you all together as a cohesive unit. Um, you know that myself and other demonstrators, we're all gonna go crazy and start using these products in different ways. But for tonight, I'm gonna keep it pretty basic and keep it kind of all together. So the stamp set, where's my stamp? Here's the actual stamp. It is just one big stamp and you need, what is this block? Hold on, I can't, I gotta put, I gotta put the glasses on. I can't read it. You need, where is it? Ah, the F block. An F block or a Stamparatus. And now we no longer sell our Stamparatus. They went like hotcakes when people were told that we weren't gonna sell them anymore. Um, so you need a big block or Stamparatus. Okay, so it's a red rubber stamp. And then there's a nice embossing folder of which can I, do I have something embossed? I do. So we're gonna play up the colors of what we're making. So this is it embossed on the paper. So it's not a 3D one, it's just a regular one, but it embosses pretty nicely. And you could use either side up, I think. This is the new in color, <laughs> hold on, pebbled path. I still forgot to make my cheat sheet. Normally I make a cheat sheet. Um, I just looked at the ink pad, pebbled path. So there's a nice embossing folder. Okay, so now let me show you what we're gonna make and then we'll, we'll talk about just the few random ideas I've had right away. So this is a super cute little card we're gonna make because I wanted you to be able to use all of the designer series paper. Um, and we're gonna have a little fun. So I have embossing and you're gonna be, oh, I don't know if Carlin's watching. She's gonna be so proud of me. I cut this out of the piece that's at the back and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then this is from the stamp on here. It looks like I got it a little bit dirty. What did I get in there? Oh, I got adhesive on it. Um, I'll have to clean that up. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make this a little fun. So these squares, you need a bunch of one and a half by one and a half inch squares. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. All right, where's my pile of paper? What we're gonna do, I'm gonna change up the color because sometimes I just think it's fun uh, to do that. So this is boho blue. Is that officially in there? Wouldn't it be funny if it wasn't? It is, okay, good. So on the back of our designer series paper, balmy blue, boho blue, misty moonlight, night of navy. They'll list the main colors. They didn't list the white. I mean, there is white in here. Um, and it can be shades of that. So sometimes I'm like, what is this color? And I get all frustrated and then I realize, oh, it's a shade of whatever color because they diluted it or whatever. So we're gonna go with boho blue. And let me check, oh, there's all my squares. And, and pebbled path. I thought I would put them together. I saw when I asked people what they thought their favorite color was, a lot of people like these two. So I thought they looked pretty together. Okay, so to start off, we just need this and our squares. And we'll get to the rest in a moment. I recommend an adhesive, not, it's not called adhesive, adhesive sheet. It is called an adhesive sheet. No, silicone mat. <laughs> I do know what it's called. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna recommend, I did this with Stamp and Seal, but unless you totally cover it all the way, they, they'll wiggle. So I'm gonna use um, liquid glue on the one that we're gonna make tonight. But you could do either way. Okay, so actually I'm gonna not put it on the silicone mat yet. Because the hardest part is, and now remember, it's not gonna be perfect. I want it to be perfect, you want it to be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect, okay? Um, something is gonna be a little crooked, something is not gonna be as good. Um, let's see, but we're gonna try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So see, this is, so it would need to go up a half a piece. Okay, are we in the, no, we're not in the center this way either, I can tell, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, nope. Should go 
Oh, so it should fit here. Let's see. <laughs> They're like, let's watch the lady count squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that is pretty centered-ish. You're going to look at your little pieces, and you're just going to pick something to go in the middle. Now, remember, we're putting these. Ooh, see, I like that flower. That's what I did there, too. But could I do it with... Now, here's a rip-off. Don't you think it would be nice if I could get bunnies that were all the way bunnies? But there's no way. If you were making only one card for your most special friend and you didn't mind wasting some DSP, you're going to do that. I'm checking in case I have a good tree or a good bunny to put at the center. Um, ah, well, that one's got a bunny head, so that's good. <gasps> but look at this one. I got the fox right in the middle, so I'm going to put that in the middle, even though he's going to be at an angle. All right. So remember, it's going to be okay if it's not perfect. And if you don't like the printed sides with the animals do the back sides it's okay all right oh my gosh the only problem ah! i'm gonna stab myself with my, my tweezers okay so i'm gonna put i think i'm gonna do him this way so i'm gonna put him as best as i can tell in the center i know in the team meeting this is gonna drive a couple people crazy but you don't, ha you know, you don't have to do it on diagonal. You could just do it straight. Okay, that one's down. That's where it's going. That's where it's going. And it'll be okay. Okay, now lay your other ones out. So you can play around with what colors you have, what way they're going. I definitely want that bunny on there. So you could do kind of more same colors to same colors. That one's kind of pretty. You do light to dark. I don't know, you could go totally random. I'm gonna do that. You can flip it over and do the other pieces. Oh, that's that one. What's on the back? Ooh, that's dark, I don't like it. Well, like this one to me, since I'm missing a bunch of bunny parts, oh, I'm gonna do that side. Okay. And then you're not gonna stress about your little corners because we will get them from our pieces that are left over. Oh, I like that. Okay, All right? I got enough here, actually. Oh, I already did that one. Let's, let's do this one. Okay, so now they're all a little hodgepodge, but we're gonna put them on. Oh, hey, Maria, hey, Roz. Oh, good, we got lots of friends on tonight. All right, so I forget what I, I think last time I did the diagonals, but then I realized it didn't work. So I'm gonna do the, ones that come out from the middle. So the only thing I've glued on, if you just joined me, is the center piece. These um, pieces of DSP are one and a half by one and a half. All right, can I do it? And you know it's harder to do on a video than when you're just doing it on your own. So that's my disclaimer, that's my story. Oh, and you're like, Audra, where's your silicone mat? Once you get the first one on, use your silicone mat or you're gonna have a big gluey mess and yeah they all fell off does it matter no I'm just gonna keep on keeping on okay so I got that one and then I'm gonna put this one and you could like I said you could use stamp and seal um, but I did find it's harder to get good adhesion with your stamp and seal because and you can't wiggle them around if you get them on crooked but if they go on crooked it's okay you could make it be like I meant to do that but see here with the glue, I can wiggle them just a little bit. Okay, got some there. Oh, thank you, Rhea, I did have a good birthday. So my birthday was yesterday. It was a pretty good birthday. We did go take our dog for a walk and we saw bluebells, which made me super happy. I thought I, figured, thought I knew a place where they might be and I wasn't sure, but they were there. It was like one part oh, walking along. You're like on the little path. I swear, it was like being in a fairy garden. It was so fun. I'm gonna, how do I, oh, I'm gonna put that bunny. See, I don't like that together. Maybe I like it that way. I'll do it that way. Yeah, it was like being in a fairy garden. So we did that, we went to lunch, and then, then I made the rest of those, um, Roz, oh, happy birthday, Roz. Yeah, so then the rest of my birthday was finishing up those um, just card samples that I showed you at the beginning. I was like, honey, I gotta work on this. So, um, 
yeah, so just cards if you missed the beginning. Um, I'll post the picture of all of them tomorrow. The RSVP is due by next Monday, and I'll have it in person if you're in Frederick area and you want to come on the 20th. And if you want it to go, it is going to ship. I want this one. It is going to ship on the 21st. But yeah, so I was playing around. I was cutting, fussy cutting flowers yesterday. Yeah, I think it's Deb on here. I think Deb Lee said she had recently been fussy cutting flowers from that same DSP. It's totally made for doing that. Okay. I like these stripes. Should I put them there? I think so. Oh, no, I'm going to put them here because that is, is darker. All right, so I'm just going to go like this. All right, so that you're probably thinking... Boy, Audra makes a lot of cards with little pieces of designer series paper, and you would be correct. You would be correct. But I saw this um, design with the squares, probably on the demo planning place. I don't remember now what it was with. And I thought it was really, really pretty. See? Mm, yeah, I'll do them this way. And this paper made me think of this. This paper reminds me of, I don't know if anybody... Well, one, wallpaper, right? Old-fashioned wallpaper. But I don't know. My grandma um, used to collect plates. And you know how you have plates? Um, and a lot of times they're supposed to be decorative, but they have, like, a, a picture on them. That's what this reminded me of, and I really liked it. And I like blue. Now, if they would have done this with pink, ooh, that would have been super nice. Because I don't think they ever go all in on pink, but... Oops, did you see what I did? I made it like a triangle, like I was gonna put it there. But I'll just give it a little bit more here. And this is why we're using the silicone mat, so that we can pick it up. And our scissors are gonna get uh, messy, but you can let them dry and then clean them after. All right, I'm gonna do this one. You know, that's so pretty. So see, this isn't so bad. It's not so bad, and I think if I work it out right, we get all but one, and then when we cut them off, we get one from one of those. Hmm, I should have put that somewhere in the middle with that tree on it, shouldn't I? But I'll do that flower. So uh, this is one and a half by one and a half. Ah, Delph China, yes! It does look like that. Yes. So these are one and a half by one and a half, and there's two of each one, six hundred, so it's 12 pieces. 12 pieces is not, as you see here, one short, but it's okay. We're going to pick it up. It looks kind of cool like that. It's like quilting too. It's like paper quilting. So on the back, we get that. We're going to let it dry just a little bit and we'll, we'll stamp and everything and then we'll cut and we'll finish this up. This piece of paper is, hold on. I think it's three and a half by four and three fourths, but let's double check before I tell you wrong. Three and a half, because I forgot to write it down. By four and three fourths, yes. So that is the size of our piece of paper. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna put it up like this so it doesn't stick to anything, and we're gonna let it dry. And we're gonna move this out of the way. See how that has all that glue on that? You let it dry, and then you can just clean it up. You can just like kind of wad it up with your fingers, or you could um, scrub it up. Okay, so now let's talk about the stamp set. All right. So it is an interesting stamp set. I will say, um, I kind of wish it was separate stamps, like, you know, or maybe sets of two, but it is what it is. So let's, did I, hold on, I've got some white paper here somewhere. Ah, here they are. All right, so I just cut two pieces of white paper, so we're gonna stamp it. Let's go with Pebbled Path first, which is one of our new in colors. Now remember, if you have new ink pads, they can be pretty inky. <laughs> so, so we're gonna go careful here. When your stamp is larger than your ink pad, I like to do it this way. Stamp. And this is nice because with a dark color, I can definitely see that I got everything and my pad is nice and inky and I'm gonna close it so that I don't get it on me. Now you have two choices. You could put this on top and then fold up your Let's go ahead and just do it. All right, so you can put it down. Ooh, did I miss it? Hold on, this has to come up. And then I take my grid paper and I bring it up here. Hey, Wendy, welcome. And I go here. And then I smeared it. I did. Not too bad though, actually. 
Not too bad. Let's do it one more time, but let's do it in a different color because I think I can use that. I don't think that's too bad. So I'm going to get the ink off a little bit. We're going to do it from the top because this one isn't so bad. Hold on. I've got my, my chamois here somewhere. All right. Get my chamois out. But I just wanted you to see what this looks like. And I think this would be a very fun stamp that you could color with your markers, with your Stampin' Right markers, not your blends, your Stampin' Right markers. I think this would be a fun one because you could do like it in rainbow colors. You could have fun and then cut them all out and use them in different, you know, ways. Okay. But I thought we'd try it in Moody Mauve. Come here, Moody Mauve. I don't know. This one might be the one I don't like the most. Like, th that really matters. But maybe I do like it the most. A lot of people said they like their Moody Mauve. I do like all these colors, these in colors together. And if you want to look at more and know about them more, you can um, check out that unboxing slash color analyzation video with all of its bibs and bobbles. But... Oh, yes. Oh, Wendy, that is such a clever idea. So Wendy says she wishes that there was a way that these dies would interlock. So if you wanted to use them all at the same time, they would go exactly where you want them. Oh, yeah, that would be such a cool idea. For sure. That would be so good because, yeah, now we're going to die cut one out. I'm hoping we can use that one. I think that one's fine, but that's kind of cool. And so a lot of the samples in the catalog, they did like, say they die cut here. And so then you've got that outer piece. And then maybe you die cut here and you've got this two little pieces together. So you could do that. Now you could put them all on, run it through your die cut machine and cut them all out, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to do we're going to do that, but let's do it with the the gray one in case I don't feel like doing twice. All right, so we're going to bring in our big boss. And we need some plates. And normally a lot of times I'll die cut in advance, but I did want you to see how this works. So it's a standard, you need your base, your thin die cut adapter and your <laughs> Look how look how dirty mine is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, uh, you know, if you cut a lot of die cut things, you're you're plate gets a little crazy all right so yeah like how are we going to stick this on I think I'm going to use a post-it note tonight sometimes I use washi tape sometimes I use post-it note all right so that goes right there well heck I should do the outside one too don't you think and I was thinking that size because I was thinking it was going to go up a size from the one I did in the sample and we'll do this one all right yeah because like how do we keep all this straight that is the question. And I only die cut that one little piece out of a scrap earlier today. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I have post-it notes here. Don't you love post-it notes? Oh good, I'm glad to know Wendy's plate looks like mine. I I'm about ready to let that one go. Okay, you ready? Let's see if I can do it. All right, we're just gonna hope that that's good. And now it needs a top. Gotta make your sandwich. All right. And look at that, I already made it crooked. If you notice, hopefully you notice before it goes in, nothing's worse than you're just cranking it in and then you realize you bump it wrong. All right, I'm gonna hold those down a little bit more. It would also be easier. So this is, um, hi Brittany, I do like this stamp set, but it is definitely a different thing. and. This sounds crazy, but I really kind of hope, because like I like it, but I'm, I'm waiting to see what all the billions of demos do with it because I know they'll come up with something more creative than me. I'm definitely more of a, I mean, it's not like I'm in the box, but I don't, I don't know. I like things kind of classic and clean and I don't get too crazy. Um, but then sometimes I'll see something that I'm like, wow, I would have never thought of that. All right. So I'm a little, oh, isn't that funny? So this one I feel like I got really well. That's when I got a little bit crooked. And let's look at that one. Ooh, I like that. That's kind of pretty. Okay, and then we need to die cut. You know what? I just put that away. We need to die cut one more thing for our card. 
because I got distracted by like, let's play with this stamp set. Okay, so we're gonna die cut one more thing. Oh, so, yeah, you know, you ordered just the dies and not the stamp set. You know, I could see that, totally, that this one is going to be one that's going to have to grow on us, I think. Um, all right, so this is a piece of the Pebble Path, and I, what did I do? I embossed it. Okay, sorry, I didn't, I'm not going to emboss it. Now, I will say, when you do it in the order I'm doing, so it's embossed, and then we're going to die cut, it squishes your embossing just a little. But I thought lining things up, uh, without it being like doing it twice I thought the other way would be a little more challenging so what we're gonna do now this does not matter super much if I get the outer edge perfect all that really matters is I want this part this amount am I doing that right is that the right size no I feel like that's bigger you know what, we're gonna go with it. I'm, I'm feeling it. Okay, so I'm gonna put my post-it note on here. All right, we're gonna try this. <laughs> oh. Good, you ready? Okay. Yeah, Wendy says she does the order the same way. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna emboss just that middle piece, I would actually die cut them all out and then emboss them. But because I want to, I'm so proud of myself, I'm going to use both of these pieces in this project. Both. You're going to be like, what? I'm going to use both. Okay. You ready? So what we're going to do is we're going to use, and then I feel like I could, I feel like I would use this. And the blue one, I have it somewhere. I don't know where it is. Okay, so let's put our card back so we can see where we're going. All right, you ready? So here we go. I'm going to, oh, and less. Mm, this could be where me choosing a bigger, oh, no, we're good. So look at that. I'm going to put this on here, and nobody is going to be the wiser that we're missing half the paper back there. Nope, nobody's going to know. So let's go ahead and just put stamp and seal around the edge. Get All right, around the edge. Yeah, so be prepared, team members. You're going to do all of this on Friday if you're coming. If you're getting it to go <laughs> because you're not here and you can't come, I will have already done the die cutting and the embossing for you. But my in-house in in people, you're going to do all this stuff. Did I stick it to my paper? I did. Okay. Now you're like, Audra, well, where's our little piece? it's back I didn't I don't have it already done because I really wanted to show you how to do this all right you need some scissors is it gonna be perfect no it's not it's gonna be okay and we are gonna come in here try to decide if this is you know that problem where the thing is too close to be with no glasses and maybe a hair there we go I'm gonna hold it closer so I'm just gonna cut these off And we're going to need one of them for our one missing corner. So my scissors are going to get sticky. You can let, I let them dry. And then I come in the next day with my, ooh, hold on. I got to move this because I did have the stick. You don't want the stuff to get stuck to that. Um, you can get the adhesive off with an adhesive eraser. And we don't sell them anymore. The ones I have are Stampin' Up! ones, but you can order them on Amazon. And I think one day I was at Michael's a while ago and I saw some there. So you can get them there. If you have that little tiny trimmer that we had as, um, that we could get as new demos and demos, that would work. Or if you have a guillotine, I wouldn't do your slidey. Like our regular trimmer is not going to do this super well. And if you're worried about it being not as perfect as you would like, what you can do is cut your gray piece or whatever your background piece is. Um, you can cut it a little bit bigger and then you can do this and then you can put it on your trimmer and cut it down. So the days I'm feeling really like I really want it to be perfect, I do that. But I think that this paper could definitely go with, oh, look how pretty that is. It can definitely go shabby chic and you would be happy with it. Oh my gosh, well look how cute that is. Holy moly's. All right, so I kind of feel like I'm gonna just put that. That would match that. I feel like I like that. 
All right. Unless there's something super cute here. Where's my... Bring this back in. All right, because we just got to glue on one little square and trim it down. I'll do this one with the flower. That's, that's the one I said I was going to do. Okay, so it needs a hair, tiny bit of glue. It's mostly sticky. Okay, I'm going to put it there. All right, and then we're going to go crazy, and I'm not going to let it dry. And I'm going to cut it and hope it comes out okay. And it's pretty crazy because of all this paper on this card. I personally did not use any ribbon or any um, embellishments, but you could totally use them if you want. Hey, Beth. Oh, Beth, you got to let me know if you're coming to the team meeting on Friday. All right, you guys ready? Then we're going to put that on there. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I think I like this color scheme better than the one I did. I thought that I did that and I was like, I just decided it was too much blue because the only thing, um, that's not pebbled path, that's smoky slate under there. Um, cause I didn't think about using pebbled path till later. All right. So we're going to put this on. All right. I got to get on my tippy toes and I got to look over. So if you make a card like this, I would love to see it And whatever designer series paper you want to use is totally fine. I will also post this card tomorrow. So I guess I'll do a, a morning post and a midday post. Um, I don't like to do two posts right in a row. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So we could do this on the blue. Or we could do this, although I don't have a piece, you could do it tone on tone if you wanted. You could also put it on Night of Navy. I don't know, maybe I want it on Pebble Path. All right, if you have a strong feeling, let me know. So this is on Boho Blue. And let me grab a piece of Night of Navy. Do I have a piece of Night of Navy? Nope, but we can get one. All right, and let's see what it would look like. Ooh, I think I like that. All right, I'm gonna go that. I like them all. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to know. Okay, so we need a trimmer. Oh, hold on. You're gonna laugh if you knew how squishy this little portal where I am crafting is. <laughs> You'd be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that lady crafts. Well, it's only because I have all the things out. Oh, Brittany says she likes it on Boho Blue. Okay, I'll take some more votes while I'm cutting this. Because I might just have them all here. So what's fun is, of course, when you're making your own card from the get-go, you can decide what color makes you happy. What color do you like with the blue? See, I'm wondering... I think um, doing it with the pink may have been really pretty. Doing it with, well, moody mauve, right? I think that would be a good accompaniment to the blues. I wonder about doing it with crushed curry. That might work. I've lost it. Ah, yeah. How oh, good. I'm glad to know somebody else's craft room is a disaster. I have not. I'm going to go with the Night of Navy. I have not yet uh, gone through my stamp sets and my papers and arranged all that because, um, yeah, I'm going to wait. Oh, which I forgot to mention, the Maker's Mojo. So um, I work with four other demos, and we do an online, and I'll tell you, our presentations are way more organized than this. You get PDFs. You get the presentation is done, you know, really nicely. Um we have prizes. The Facebook group just started, so a couple of the play-along posts where you can qualify to win prizes have already gone up. But if anybody's interested, and you can use the, the projects we teach you, you can use them in your business. It is totally fine. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I like it. And then we need a, a sentiment. We're gonna... Oh, I don't like that so big. I think we gotta go back to small. Oh good, people approve of Knight of Navy. I wonder, do I like this as big as I made it? I can't, I could make it smaller with that, but I kind of like that big. Okay, so we just need to cut this down. So we are gonna have to die cut one more time, and then we'll put this together. All right, and bossy, whatever, die cut machine, come here. I was thinking it'd be cool if it was bigger, but it takes up too much space. All right, now do you have to use this? No, could you just, could you just take and use, um, what am I trying to say? Just use any old label that you have. Um, 
I mean, not old, any old label. Use a little piece of paper. It would totally be fine. But I was like, you know, I really wanted to show you the sweet as much as I could. So that's why we're using it. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the super crafty demos to see what they come up with. Do I have them all here? Where's the top? That is definitely the bottom. Oh my gosh. And the problem when you're doing this is you make a giant mess. Oh, here it is. Make a giant mess and it's all recorded, all recorded live so that people can give me a hard time about it later. Oh. Ah, all right, how hit hidgety pidgey. Oh, ooh, I did that one good. Look how good that one is. I like it. That one I don't like, that one's crooked. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of that one. That one went into the bin. Okay, let's put this card together and then I will send you on your way. Oh good, so I was figuring this would take about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so what I could do is if you wanted more dimension, you could take either little bits of dimensionals or um, foam strips. Let's go foam strips, we're gonna pop that up. Do I have any foam strips here? In my in my drawer, that is the question. Do I have foam strips? Yes. All right. So our foam strips, in case you don't know, they come double. I always cut mine in half. I just find it more manageable for me. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on here. Now, um, one of the reasons that I went with this being so open is I wanted to see the. Um, the paper right we took all that time to make all that paper oh, that was, I did so good on that one I'm so proud all right that's so funny it's like I did that one pretty well my things are pretty straight I like the order all right all right now I would not make this card a shaker card but these what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octagonal <laughs> little octagons. I think it would be really good and fun for a shaker card. I don't know. Now I decided that it needs it everywhere. But you could totally do these. I think that these dies would be fun for a shaker card. And I am super excited. It has nothing to do with these dies, but there is a set of dies in the new catalog that they, they are don't, I don't think they're bundled with, any, with anything that I really like. They're stitched and they have like pennants and um, different kinds of shapes. And I think they're really cool. And I don't know what they're called. I didn't even make it all the way through. I got my box of catalogs. I did not even make it all the way through because today was a busy day. Mondays I teach two yoga classes in the morning and I got my nails done. See? Although, look, I've already... Oh, good. It was just adhesive. I was like, I already messed one up. I got my nails done today, which is although a fun thing, but it takes a chunk of time out of your day. And then I was working on this project. And oh, my Maker's Mojo. Um, if you want to learn about our gilded leafing, I'm doing... A whole tutorial on gilded leafing and I started to mess around with it today and I was like Audra what are you doing you have a video tonight you got to get ready for that so I had to check myself I'm gonna be doing it tomorrow all right ready can we put it on straight it would be super nice if we could you can't breathe and put it ah oh, there we go okay and then we need this to say something there are no words obviously in this stamp set right it's just the outlines so you can use any stamps that you got i think i'm gonna go with there's a little thanks in this i like this one seasonal branches we'll have to play with it more in depth another day although the one that carried over that's in the mini the bird and the nest i have it and i have not had a chance to play with it and so i'm so glad it carried over i need a block so glad because I plan to make some really fun things with it. All right, let's get our pebbled path out and I'm just gonna put this little thanks right in the center. Oh no, cause I have pebbled path there, hold on. Let's do it in Night of Navy. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
So this is what you get. I had a plan and look what happens. The plan gently changes. Ta-da! Oh, that's cute. That is super cute. All right, and then here's what we're gonna do because you gotta play, oh, it's going in the same spot. See how I get to see my fox? Now here's what I gotta do. I don't wanna put a dimensional on that. I wanna put a little piece right there. Ooh, but it's gonna need to be a foam strip to get over now that I foam stripped it. <laughs> oh, Cause it won't touch the thing if I don't do it. Okay, so right there. And then I'll put some right here. Okay, so hopefully I did that right. Although that's a little close. Let's see if we can. <laughs> oh, Wendy, I love it. Wendy is like my best, one of my best cheerleaders. She just said, that's creativity. Start with a plan and adjust for reality. And yes, and how many times do we have to adjust for <laughs> whatever, when we mess it up, right? And then we gotta figure out ways to embellish it and make it better. All right. And there, my friends, is our super cute card. Look at that, so similar, but different. Oh, so very fun. So if you have questions, comments, requests about tonight, um, I'll try to add the dimensions uh, since I didn't write them down, but it's one and a half by one and a half. That is the big thing you need to know, and then you can make up uh, your outer edges, but I'll add the dimensions tomorrow. I'll have to add them tomorrow. Um, if you do have questions, comments, or requests, please let me know. I'm having help. If you're interested in just cards, uh, please let me know that. You have until next Monday. And I'll remind you next Monday, also in the video, um, to RCP. What else? Uh, if you need a catalog and you're not already a demo or don't have a demonstrator, uh, let me know. I'll send you a catalog. And um, if you're ordering this month from me, I would love it if you use the host code. I do have surprise boxes left, so if anybody wants one, you can be a demo or not a demo. Um, go look on my page just a little bit back or send me a message and I'll let you know about them. But I am getting ready to post them in one of those buy-sell groups, so I'd love to give it to people that already follow me, but if not, I'll go there. Um, all right, so I will see you soon. Uh, take care, stay crafty. And I'll see you next time.